When an implant fails, the patient says, it's an implant failure. And what we say as doctors, it's like a bone rejection. It's going to be the same scenario, but depends a lot on the way you see it. Why is this? Because remember that once the implant placement, obviously on expert hands, and when you have someone that is doing the proper work and it's strong, stable, and you reach those Newtons, and you will have an implant that is going to be strong, and then even if you do it in two stages, that implant now is going to go from step one to step two. What the doctor performs is going to be one. And then the second stage is how the body is going to react. Because at the end, imagine that you're going to be part of this bone and you're going to be receiving an illegal alien. It's going to be an implant. Yes, but it was made in Switzerland. It was made in whatever. It's going to be the same story. It's an illegal alien. So the bone is going to be saying, okay, I have two options, or, or I rather accept it and make an osseointegration integration around that implant, or very simple, I just create a space here, like a small gap, and the implant is going to start to wiggle and move, and it's going to start to pop out, because the body does not want it. So, is it an implant failure, or is it a bone rejection? Technically, it's a bone rejection. But if you want to think that it was an implant failure, well, us as doctors, we say, okay, if you want to see it that way, it's okay. But at the end, it's going to be a bone rejection. What can you do? First of all, if you have good communication with your doctor, well, once that implant comes out, it needs to be the area clean, obviously grafted, and you need to wait at least three to five months again, and then you start again. And probably patients, they say, yeah, but it was once rejected. Those are the things in the body that even implantologists do not know. You can do the same procedure in the same spot with obviously a different implant, a new implant, and you can place it there in the second chance is going to be, again, a successful story. It will depend a lot in so many things, but I've done it and doctors that have done implants all over the world, they can be having things like this and they can tell you the truth. Now, for patients that they think that in America you don't have rejecting implants, my God, as long as you have a human being with systemic diseases and so many things, you can have a bone rejection anywhere in the world. The thing is to have good communication with your doctor and to have a link, a link that is going to make a successful story. Do your homework and find the correct doctor. I am Dr. A. Bye.